And welcome back to another episode on how to hack and here's the deal today hacking is illegal and i'm saying this up front right now because what you're about to witness is really scary terrifying and frightening and this is next level stuff because when a hacker send you a fake website a fake link you clicked on it and you thought you got to press some button and so on in order for the hack to execute that's not true the reality is that by clicking on the link itself that's it. Game over because you're logged into the site and I really want you to stay all the way to the end so that you can see the full cycle about how the hackers do it. So right in front of us, I actually have WebGoat running. So WebGoat is a vulnerable web application system. And whatever you want to run any of these hacking tactics on, it's really important to run them in a place, in a location where you are safe. And for example, in your own network lab environment, this is great, especially for learning about how all these hacking techniques work. So go ahead, get some virtualization technology and start running all these hacking techniques right here. So in front of us, I web code, and of course on the left side, I have the request forgery. So I can go ahead and click on the cross site request forgeries. And now we go ahead and click on lesson four. And it states the following, post a review on someone else's behalf. So what is going on here is that we are looking at a simulation. So this can be a social media site, a platform. It can be an e-commerce site where you buy all your items from. It could be any site, okay? And of course, if I scroll down further, here it states the following at a review and we can put a level of stars on it and of course we have the different uses we have posted like zero stars two stars five stars one star and, and so on and so forth so i can do a right click and click under inspect element and right here i can do a right click on form id and right click as edit as html so we can take a look at what is going on right here and i can Expand this further and we can see the following. So we got a form class, attack form, accept, char set, and so on and so forth. So pretty straightforward. And of course we have several input classes. All right, so we got two of them. One of them is review text, the other is review stars. And we have one more is which is validate requests. And then we have submit, submit, and that's it. So a pretty simple form. And all you gotta do is just straight away, all right, copy and paste this entire form into your own HTML file, after which you can upload it to your own web application server. And that is the part where you are going to be able to launch all these different kind of attacks from. So that's pretty easy. And that can be done pretty quickly too, because all you're gonna do right now is just go ahead and create a fake HTML right here. So what I've done here is I've created the HTML file, the fake website. And of course, if you see here, we have the form ID, CSR review, we have the method posts, and of course we have the action sending it over to the IP address or the domain name, whichever the case is. And of course, right here, it states the following, click this button to get a hundred dollars free voucher. Okay, and what we have done is we have hidden the fields, okay? So we put type, hidden instead of tags where the users no longer see any of those values anymore and of course we have the hidden for five stars and of course we have the hidden for the validate request so this is similar to what we saw earlier and we have to submit and submit okay so what i can do now is go ahead and show you how this fake website looks like okay so I'll go ahead and open up terminal and i can enter the following so I can CD into desktop where the file is located. And of course, I can enter Firefox and I can enter CSRF or WebGoat CSRF. And of course, as you can see here, we have mousepad. So this is WebGoat CSRF2.html. So let's go ahead and enter that.html and hit enter on this. And that's it. We're brought into the website. So very similar to how we would see it when someone sends you a fake link, either via email, social media messages, whichever the case is. And once you clicked onto the link, you see something similar to this where they ask you to, okay, click the link, click the submit button, and you always find it very suspicious. So this is low, easy level stuff, right? Anyone can do this pretty easily. So how can we bring this to the next level? And how do the hackers do it to bring it to the next level? And you may have noticed something here if I go back to the file and right at the bottom, I've commented out, all right, this particular code called script, all right? And what I'm going to do now is to explain to you what is going on right here. And this is going to be really scary next level stuff. You have the following script, document.getElementById, csrf-review.submit, all right? So it would retrieve all right, by ID, csrf-review right here, dot submit. And what happens is that the moment you click the link, 
it will submit the form for you. This is really, really frightening. Okay, which is really important why you have to verify who sent you those links. And what I'm going to do now, I go back to terminal and you can see the following. So this is the exact same file, just that we have uncommented out the script. Okay, so we are allowing the script to run the moment we click the link. So here we have Firefox web go CSRF2.html. And in three, two, one, I hit enter. Did you see that? Are you seeing this? It appears you have submitted correctly from another site. Go reload and see if your post is there. This has just been submitted because you're logged in, you were authenticated. It is game over. I go back to the website. I refresh this. I scroll down further. You can see right here. Hackalaw is awesome. I love his videos and I always turn on notification for his channel. You got to turn it on right now. And it's very important for you to always verify who is sending you those links, whether it's an SMS, whether it's a social media message, an email, doesn't matter. Always verify who are sending you all those links. And once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.